Hey, Credit Heroes, how would you like to achieve everything you want in life? I'm talking about all the success and wealth that you've ever dreamed of. What if I told you that I know the secret to that? Well, I do. I know the secret to creating luck. Would you like to know the secret to creating luck? Well, you better stick around. My name is Daniel Rosen, and welcome to Credit Repair Business Secrets. Okay, if this is your first time listening to my podcast, every week I cover industry news, financial tips, and entrepreneurial advice for bootstrapping your business from nothing. This show is the best how-to guide for business owners, and there's no other podcast like it. So be sure to click that subscribe button now and get ready to start changing lives. Okay, so this is my 144th podcast episode. I've released one episode every week for the past 144 weeks, and I've covered just about everything in credit repair and in business, but there's one episode where I gave the biggest secret of all, and not many people watched it, but to me, it's the biggest secret of success because it's about mindset. Now, if you ask someone new to business, they're going to think that getting leads and clients is the most important element to success, but they are wrong. If you ask millionaires and billionaires what's the most important ingredient to their success, they will all say mindset. So I want you to listen to this episode all the way to the end because in it, I'm going to show you how to achieve anything in life and to achieve your wildest dreams. But before we get started... This podcast is brought to you by Credit Hero Score. Credit Hero Score is the only credit monitoring service that integrates directly with Credit Repair Cloud. Get instant access to your credit reports and scores by signing up for a seven day trial for only $1. Sign up right now at CreditHeroScore.com. Okay, let's get into this. Here is one of my very first podcasts is from several years ago, but I think it's the most important one because in it, I show you how I have achieved everything that I've ever wanted in life. My business, wealth, success, happiness, everything, the whole package and how you can too. This is the real deal. So you're going to want to watch this all the way to the end. Did you ever notice that some people are just lucky in everything they do? Everything they touch turns to gold and whatever they do, they succeed at. And then there are other people who are just unlucky. They have this dark cloud that follows them wherever they go. They never seem to get ahead and life is just awful for them. So why are some people successful and others are not? It's a good question, right? As a kid, I never had money. I didn't come from money. I didn't have amazing advantages. I left home at 13 and I juggled on street corners to make a living. I didn't go to college. I didn't even graduate high school. I was basically a street person. I was as poor as a person can be. But I used to think all the time about what makes luck and I would obsess over it and I would think about it over and over. What makes luck? And for years, I was obsessed by it. And eventually, you know what? I figured it out. I learned the secret to luck. And when I did, amazing things started to happen. Learning this secret made me the luckiest person I know. It's made me successful in nearly everything that I set out to do. Now, trust me, I've failed plenty. I failed more than anyone I've ever met but I don't ever look at it as failing. I look at it as learning and solving a puzzle, okay? There's always a way to solve it. You just have to find it. Some people, some people love to complain about how hard it is to launch a business and that making a website is frustrating and that they, they don't know how to get clients or customers. And yes, Yes, these are all challenges that we face as an entrepreneur, especially when we're launching a business. But by being so negative, everything's going to continue to be negative because whatever you focus on is what you're going to attract. But you know what? We have a choice. We can sit and complain about how terrible and unfair it is, 
Or we can sit and say, okay, this is confusing, but I'm going to figure it out because I'm going to be successful. See, this is the adventure of being an entrepreneur. Building a business is all about overcoming challenges. And the challenges, they don't get easier when you get successful. No, the challenges get a lot bigger. The challenges I face every day, they would crush you. But I'm so excited every day to solve them. This is the part I love. See, the recipe to success boils down to just two words, okay? And the first word is attitude. So I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to pay close attention to your answer, okay? Are you ready? Okay. Do you feel like the world is treating you well? Do you? If you answer with a strong yes, and if your attitude towards the world is good and positive, then you're going to have good results. You're going to be able to create luck. But if your answer is negative, you'll probably have negative things happen to you because what you say and what you believe has the power to become real, whether it's positive or negative. The second important ingredient is goals. Some people set them and they work towards them and others don't. People who have goals, they reach success because they know where they're going. Imagine a boat that's leaving on a journey. It's got its destination. It's got the captain who has the whole trip mapped out and planned. He knows exactly where he's going and how long it's going to take. It has a definite goal. And nearly every time, it's going to get there. Now, imagine another boat, just like the first one, only it doesn't have a captain or a crew or a destination. We just start the engine and let it go. And I think you'll agree it's not going to get very far. It'll probably just float around aimlessly until it goes aground somewhere. If it doesn't have a destination or guidance, it can't succeed. If it doesn't have a goal, it's going to be a disaster. And it's the same thing for people. Unfortunately, most people have a bad attitude. Most people don't set goals. They just think the world is unfair and they're not willing to do the work to get out of the position they're in. Throughout my life, I've made really big, crazy goals. People thought I was nuts, but you know what? I achieved them. They didn't fall in my lap. They weren't easy. I worked very, very hard to get them, but I always called my shot. And then I figured out how to work my ass off to get there. As a kid, when I was juggling on those street corners, people would throw change into my hat. And my goal at that point was to make enough to eat. And you know what happened? I made enough to eat. And throughout my life, I would, I would always say, wow, I'm really lucky. I always have exactly enough. And because I said that, and I believe that, I always had exactly enough, not any more, not any less. And I started to realize that this was happening because that's what I was saying and that's what I was believing, that I always had exactly enough. So I decided that I was going to do an experiment and that I was going to start saying and believing that I had more than enough. And you know what happened? I started making just a little bit more than I needed to survive. And because of that little extra, I finally managed to start saving some money. And a few years later, I was able to finally buy a house. But <laughs> unfortunately, buying that house led to my credit getting messed up. And that caused me to nearly lose that house and nearly go bankrupt. But that led me to my next goal of creating the world's first credit repair software. Now, I didn't know anything about programming or running a business, but I set a goal to do it. I called my shot and then I figured out how to get there. And it wasn't fast. It took 10 years of miserable and painful failure. 
but I learned from each failure and I adjusted. And then eventually I got there. In the beginning of my software company, I was lucky if I could make a hundred dollars a week. So my initial goal, my initial big goal was just to cover my mortgage payment. I thought if I could just do that someday, I've made it. So I worked my ass off and within a couple years, I was covering my mortgage payment. And then I started re realizing, hey, if my goal is just to make the mortgage payment, that's as far as I'm going to get. So I decided my next goal was to be a millionaire. So I did something really weird. I bought a motorcycle on eBay, this old Harley, and I decided that I was not only going to be a millionaire, but I was going to be a really quirky one. One who goes to meetings on a Harley and walks in with his helmet. And I thought, wow, that'd be so cool. I'd be quirky millionaire. And so I started calling myself quirky millionaire, even though I was still broke. And I said it so many times, it became true. And it didn't just happen overnight or by magic. It happened because I worked my ass off, but more importantly, because I set that big goal, okay? And then I broke that down into little smaller goals, and then I figured out all the tiny steps to get there to become Quirky Millionaire. So now, with all this money, I've been able to hire a huge team, okay? And they're all now helping me, and our new goal is to make a hundred million dollars a year. Not for me to be personally rich, I don't care about that, but because of all the cool things we can build that, that will really help people and all the lives that we can change when we're making a hundred million dollars. So that's the goal that we're now working towards over here. We talk about it all the time, and you know what? We are going to get there. So here's what you need to know. If you are generally happy and optimistic, good things will happen to you. You have a choice. You can be miserable and have miserable things happen to you, or you can decide to be successful and have amazing things happen to you. If that's what you want, that's what you need to try to do every day. People are always amazed that I'm always in a good mood. I've been hearing this all my life. But I'll tell you a secret. I'm not always in a good mood. I get upset. I get depressed. I have stress. But I'm happy most of the time. I think the world is amazing. I'm having a great adventure. And when bad stuff does happen, I learn from it. I turn it into a positive. And I always tell myself how lucky I am. And that keeps the luck coming. So here are four steps to creating luck. First, you have to set goals. Most people never do this. If you have a goal that you want to achieve, like starting a business, making a million dollars, whatever your goal is, make it big and then concentrate on that goal every day. Keep focus. Setting a goal is not enough. You have to have laser beam focus on that goal. You need to figure out, okay, I've got this goal of making a million dollars. What are the steps that will get me there? And then it's breaking down that, that big, huge goal into little incremental goals and you'll work towards those every day. And another thing about focus is focus on one thing. If you have 10 different businesses or 10 different goals, you're barely going to make a dent into any of them. But if you put all that focus and energy into just one thing and one goal, you're going to get 10 times as much done. So pick one goal and have laser beam focus. Next, you have to give. Help as many people as you can. Your success and your riches may not even come from the people that you directly help. But there's a universal law you even heard about in school. For every action, there is a reaction. What makes you rich is when you help and enrich others. And then finally, see yourself in that goal. This is why people create a vision board. When I was 21, I wanted to be on TV. I wanted it so bad 
that I made this crazy wall art picture of a television set and then I stuck my head in it and I put it on the wall so that every day I'd have to see myself there on TV. And you know what happened? Within a week, I was on two TV shows. And within a month, I had a TV series. So if your goal is to have a Ferrari, put a picture of a Ferrari on your wall. Put your little head in it. Picture yourself with that goal. You got to feel it and taste it and obsess over it. This is how you make luck. And this is how you build the business of your dreams. Now, I've seen this same thing happen with all of the people who've gotten our Millionaire's Club Award, okay? These are all traits they have. They've all learned how to manifest luck. In fact, Ashley Massengill was working at the post office, okay? She started talking about how she was going to improve her credit. She started posting about it every day on Facebook, showing her success and showing her score go up. And you know what happened? People started reaching out to Ashley, wanting her help. So she set a goal to start a business. And then she decided to make it a bigger goal. She decided it was going to be a million dollar business. And 18 months later, she was a millionaire. It didn't just happen. She worked very hard, but she set a goal. She started talking about it to everyone, everyone she knew, everyone online. She broke it down into little achievable goals. And now Ashley is a multimillionaire and one of the most successful people in our industry. And now she's able to give and help others. And it's all because she learned the secret to making luck. So stop thinking about why you can't be successful and instead start thinking about why you can, okay? Think about what you want to be, picture it, say it, and believe it, okay? It's much easier than ever to be an entrepreneur these days with the internet and all the tools we have. You have so many advantages that weren't there before. So I hope you'll apply what I've suggested here. It really, really works. It's made me the luckiest guy in the world. And now I want to help everyone I can to get here too. That's why I give my books away for free. And it's why we've created programs like the Credit Hero Challenge. So if you're wanting to start your business or to bring it to the next level, and if you're finding value in what I'm sharing on this podcast, Click below to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes. And if you know someone who needs to hear what I said today, please share this. Post it to your page. And I'd love feedback. If you have a question you'd like answered or you have a comment for me, leave it down below. And I can't wait to see you on the next episode. So until then, keep changing lives. Hey everybody, it's Daniel again, and really quick, I'd like to invite you to join what I believe is the best thing we have ever created inside the Credit Repair Cloud community, and it is a challenge that we call the Credit Hero Challenge. If you're just planning out your business or you're just getting it started and you dream of having a successful business of your own so you can quit your 9 to 5 and fire your boss and have financial freedom or so you can add another revenue stream to your existing business, if that's your dream, you need to get into this challenge. We created this challenge to help you to create and launch your very own credit repair business, to build a proper foundation for a really successful business. This challenge is going to help you to understand the strategy, the tactics, and all the things you need to be successful at credit repair. It really is the greatest thing we have ever built, and it will change your life. So I recommend you do it right now. Stop everything, pause this audio, go online, and go to CreditHeroChallenge.com. That's CreditHeroChallenge.com. And join the next challenge. And there's a challenge that's starting in just a few days. So go get started right now at CreditHeroChallenge.com.